Today, I want to talk about how Warren Kitty has just made a giant purchase that could be many times larger than we already think it is. I also want to talk about how Roaring Kitty likely has more live streams in the pipeline with more hidden YouTube videos. So stay tuned and let's make some money. It's also the first day of the month and the mid-year sale is still on for a few more days. So now is the best time to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group using the link in the description below and using code MIDYEAR, all in capitals, at checkout. You can currently get $100 off the price of the lifetime membership or 25% off the monthly membership. But now I'll dive straight in with the key information. So, Unusual Wales has tweeted saying breaking news. Keith Gill, aka Roaring Kitty, has just filed an SEC Form 13G for Chewy, ticker symbol CHWY, for 9 million and 1,000 shares, or 6.6% of the company. I also love how he modified this SEC form to designate that he's actually, if you hadn't already guessed, not a cat. But you can see here that Keith Gill has just filed 9,001,000 shares of a share holding in Chewy. Now, Amit has pointed out the very interesting question saying, so if Roaring Kitty now has 9 million shares of Chewy, did he sell his GameStop shares to fund the purchase? He said if we want to be generous and give him, let's say, a $20 average on his Chewy shares, that's $180 to $200 million he needed liquid in cash to buy the stock. Now we can see from his last YOLO update, he had $262 million worth of GameStop shares and only $6.3 million of cash in his account. So the question is, did he sell the $216 million worth of GameStop shares to buy around $200 million worth of Chewy, or did the cash come from elsewhere? Many are speculating Roaring Kitty actually had more cash than this originally in his account from some of the previous run-ups that he played call options on, that he's just taken out of his account in the past through withdrawals. He then just deposited this in and therefore could still be holding the $260 million worth of GameStop and the $200 million worth of Chewy for around half a billion. If he played calls through June of 2024 last month and May of 2024, the month before that, he could have easily made hundreds of millions of dollars of additional cash that he withdrew. Alternatively, he may have had to sell the GameStop shares to fund that Chewy purchase. I guess we won't know until his next screenshot update. But Boss Blunt has actually given the reason as to why Warren Kitty has bought these Chewy shares. So Boss Blunt has tweeted saying the XRT ETF, which is the ETF, by the way, that shorted 500% of the float, holds Chewy as its number one holding. So let's cast our mind back to 2021, where we first figured out these hedge funds were actually using these ETFs to push down the prices of individual stocks. You can effectively short the ETF and buy up the shares of some stocks in that ETF to push those stocks up, meaning the ETF therefore has to hold a larger portion of those shares and sells off other shares, pushing the prices down of other stocks artificially. The shorts can also synthetically short these ETFs as much as they like because ETFs have different rules under regulation SHO than individual stocks. That's why XRT has a short interest, not of 10 or 20 or 30 or 40%, but of over 500%. And that's why Boss Blunt has said the FTD game of hot potato is in trouble with Roaring Kitty buying up all of these chewy shares. And Josh has also tweeted this screenshot saying things that make you go, hmm. I also wanted to go through some of the brilliant options plays from the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group. Now you'll know I regularly trade the fast moving momentum news plays and every single day we get brilliant gains. But for those that don't like fast moving momentum news plays or don't have the time to trade those, there's also tons of other options trades that also happen in the group. 
We also have some other analysts like B, our options wizard, ADEX and KC that regularly post brilliant options trades like these few here, Amazon, PacWest Bancorp and DDoG that went over 100% each in just the last few days. So guys, be sure to join the Millionaire Mindset Trading Group using the link in the description below, using the discount code MIDYEAR at checkout for $100 off the price of the lifetime membership or 25% off the monthly membership. So we can see this is a screenshot of Roaring Kitty's YouTube that has two unavailable videos that are hidden. So Roaring Kitty has produced and uploaded two YouTube videos, but so far has them set to being hidden. This could potentially be two more live streams like he did a few weeks ago where he first hid a video which was the scheduling for the previous live stream. Could also be two new videos on GameStop, two new videos on Chewy or anything else. But what is likely is that these YouTube videos will likely be published over the next few days causing a spike in either GameStop, Chewy or both especially because we've now seen Citroen Research and other short sellers already starting to panic. Citroen Research tweeted saying, it now seems pretty clear that Keith Gill investing $200 million in Chewy is unlikely that it's his own money. They've said even selling all of his GameStop shares without paying taxes, it just doesn't add up. They've said, remember, investing is always at your own risk. If you're looking for aggressive buys, Warren Buffett's 30% stake in Occidental looks far more compelling than following Kitty Man. Again, this is the short sellers desperately trying to throw us off the track, suggesting we should instead buy a stock like Oxy or Occidental, which is up just 5% in the last six months. This is a stock that's only up 6% in the past year or 27% in the last five years. Actually, buying even just the S&P 500 would be far better than buying Oxy. But again, it's these shorts desperately trying to convince us, guys, you need to sell AMC and GameStop and instead buy this stock that goes up just 6% a year. Please don't buy this stock which could short squeeze and liquidate us short sellers buy the stock that barely moves. Biotech Moose replied to that tweet with the following meme saying, so this guy stole your money twice. It seems the short sellers will never learn and are getting more and more desperate for us to sell. Now you may also know that Roaring Kitty last night was sued by a retail investor for manipulation. Now that shareholder held just a few shares of GameStop and it seems like a phony lawsuit set up by short sellers. Now actually this lawsuit has already been dismissed which is why I haven't spoken about it more during this video. We can see here the lawsuit against Keith Gill as defendant just received a notice of voluntary dismissal. But I also wanted to touch on this tweet from Quiver Quantitative that said breaking news. Roaring Kitty has been sued for alleged GameStop securities fraud and manipulation. But said meanwhile in Congress, many of these politicians are sitting on the board of individual companies and making suspicious insider purchases or are even passing legislation for these companies and buying in before the legislation is passed. Clear insider trading. So politicians are allowed to commit illegal insider trading, but yet individual retail investors can't even use the First Amendment of free speech and post on social media their stock positions. On top of that, media personalities like Jim Cramer can specifically tell you to buy or sell shares without getting in trouble, but yet retail investors can't post on social media. As the saying goes, it's one rule for thee and another rule for they. So guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.